Konnichiwa, new Magic One got back on another reaction video. In today, you guys, we are uh we are doing part seven, I believe this is. Yeah, part seven for the Hookie B Gilgamesh um video. Uh like I said, we've done uh six uh previous parts in the past on the uh on the channel. If you guys want to go see there, go ahead and go and um go to the channel, go to the video section, and you should be able to go and see those like some of my most recent videos from like this past month and everything. <laughs> So like I said, we have 36 minutes left on this video, 36 minutes, 21 seconds. We're actually at one minute, I mean, that's said one minute, one hour, 59 minutes and 31 seconds into the video. So I don't know if we can do all of it right now for part seven as the finale, or do we have to do one more part? But yeah, guys, so we're going to just get right to it. So like, subscribe on the video, hit bell notification, and let's get right to it. So play. John Dark was, was in a point to be fighting Gil. So right. I don't know if I can uh, actually, do all of it today or not. Ruler. And a saint right like there's there's no deeply philosophical reason for them to fight other than Gil's gonna do something bad human history and stuff right which to be fair is totally what something he would do yeah <laughs> which he has done actually attempted to do attempted yes damn you Japanese high school boys all right, so next we come to <laughs> my boys. favorite choice on this list my baby Abigail Williams. We are counting specifically. Well, I guess we we could count her in general because she she does actually have access to her power. Abigail Williams. I've never seen her before. Be I haven't heard of her before in the face things, series. But her main major power comes from her outer form. Um. So Omega, you take away what she's capable of. So let's see what I her will are looking like. Describe for you exactly how I think this would go down. So also, I think it's important to point out that that Abigail only exists as a servant because of this like team up, right? Right. But since we are counting only servant to servant, we can do this fight because of this whole situation. So, so uh, strength of B, believe it or not, uh, there are many comics about Abigail arm wrestling various servants. <laughs> uh, she's only got an agility C, got a mana of B, a luck of C, and a noble fan has a rank of A. Let's try a plus. Lots of same. It gets a bit wiggly. Mm. So, uh, Transcendental Existence EX. I still don't think there's an adequate fluff description of what this is, other than just this is the characteristic of all foreigner class servants. Right, basically, basically she's from another dimension. <laughs> it's from outside the scope of human order, basically. Right. Um, and she is at the top tier of that. She has Insanity B, which... It's equivalent to Madness Enhancement and what it does, what? so I assume it's a very similar concept, only instead of an external force making trading your sanity for power it's just you know you hooked up to an outer god it's already a lot of insanity here also got divinity b got some fun abilities we've got uh the prayer of faith c which is basically um as so a look a, a in her type, agility or basic is, is just average exceptional like uh prayer rituals and a rigorous life what does the mp do so high L's unique ability uh, reason 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 it's like a What's that doing? Curse, kind of. She just generates enmity and has people be accused of witches around her, basically. It's like, like I said, a kind of curse that throws accusations around. Uh, and then Loss of Sanity B, a fun ability, where just, um, you know, Call of Cthulhu-esque makes people crazy. It just eats away at your sanity. Okay, hold on, I looked up how to how to say this. I think it's, is it? It's Cleefoth Rhizome. That is at least oh, how they right. pronounce Cleefoth it in the game. Yes. The reference to um, uh, the tree of evil, the basically the, the opposite of the separat, the tree of life. Right. So, uh, you know that, that keyhole thing in her forehead? Uh, yeah, she uh, she opens a key which distorts the targets and just, yeah. All right, so, so what does this do? here's where I come in. Noble phantasm, I should say, but technically it would be an anti-world noble phantasm because the inside of the is given the property of quote unquote endlessness. Well, also because it's also technically anti world because it's what is it? I've read it. I've read it actually just a second ago. It's something like, uh, let me see if I can bring it up real quick. Has it right here. Uh, this is classified as anti world person. Hmm. Down with this. 
This is endowed with the disposition of having no limits, which would better be designated as an anti-world noble phantasm originally, because basically it's 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 Cthulhu. The idea is um, that Cthulhu and friends are trying to come out into the world and stuff like that, and of course, if that ever happens, the world is just dead. So that's basically like and the inverse of that. It's going into her mind through your you, mind. Specifically, if you don't mind me getting a little mythos on this, um, sure. The figure Abigail is plugged into is uh, Yog. It's a, they use an alternate name for Yog Sothoth, who is the the outer god associated with space and time. He is the key of the gate. Uh, he exists in all spaces and times, anytime he likes, and he can just kind of slide in and out of reality when summoned. So uh, he's basically yeah. he's also considered a watcher, as in like he he sees well, all tragic. things, that all sucks. realities, all spaces and time at once. There is nothing Yog Sothoth cannot see, basically. Now, granted, I will be fair, Abigail probably can't use that to its full capacity just because she's a 12-year-old little girl. <laughs> but that's the key. See, here's how I imagine this fight going, and there's probably, of course, going to be someone disagreeing with me. But trust me, this is based in what we know. Uh, Gil would see Abigail, right? He would be. He would use whatever that skill was that that discerns like, oh, this what is people who you are. Oh, the guy who sees all the words. He would see Abigail, <laughs> and he'd be like, "The fuck is this? The twelve-year-old little girl." He would literally see what the the descriptor is immediately for um when you, you when you ever like bond level zero straight up like Abigail Williams, twelve-year-old girl, blonde hair, blue eyes. What? That would literally be all he'd know, because then all she has to do is activate Cleef Authorize Ohm, and it's over. I'm, I'm actually dead serious. That is all she has to she do. Would, she would uh, blast him into an infinite space-time, and he would be done. He has magic he resistance E. He has no mental defenses, in ter except his own arrogance, I guess. He would just lose. He would actually just Even lose. If she doesn't, like, break his mind or something, or, like, destroy him, <laughs> he's sucked into, like, an infinite, Oof. endless space, Oof. and... Freak is like, this? Would be, oh, girl? He nah. could literally just be standing just go there. Ahead. I'm he Gil, doesn't I can have to be sucked stuff. into a reality, which he probably could be, but he wouldn't even have to actually go that far. She would just afflict his mind and break him. Done. <laughs> if that sounds too simple, you pretty much see this happen in her animation. That's what her animation basically signifies, except in a more wow. devastating... Wow, that's literally the most broken no like offense that I think they discuss reality. yet but in these videos. It literally describes itself as... Really? Going back to this because I have to... Yeah, he'll lose. So yeah, he'll lose. This no way. A rhizome that grows out of the tree, evil tree Cleefoth, which opens a gate that leads to an alien world that is incompatible, incompatible with humanity... And produces a severe distortion in the target's mind and body. The target of this effect is restrained by Abigail's own perception, who acts as a key. Gil has no defense against that. None. Actually, no defense. <laughs> it's as as a, like a portal effect. Nah, like it, you you get pulled in and like it's it's an infinite space which is not compatible with humans. It's a lot like we described what would happen if Nobu got him with the Demon King of Six Heaven, right? Like right absolute power of a type of entity Gil is. Well, Gil's technically a human, kind of. And, like we said, the the, the, the Fath rhizome goes to, it's not human friendly. Right. It's gonna be save or die, and I don't know if Gil can make that save, because like we said, <laughs> he's got no magic resistance. Now, I know there's gonna be some people in the comments who will say, well, what if he pulls out Aya at the last minute because she basically has to charge the attack a little bit if she's not going into her outer form? Because this is also what we see in Noble Phantasm animation. And I say to you, <laughs> he has the, the defense, he but it's do? not He's gonna the right a defense. You know what I'm saying? Glowing. What the? What Real do you talk? think Gil is gonna do? <laughs> like, I think you know, the Lost on Sanity B will be getting to Gil, and he might not be in his right mind anyway. Right. That also, alone very would do it. It's got that equivalent to clairvoyance EX, right? Oh, wow, he can see the future and everything. He explicitly ignores futures that he doesn't like. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and an example of that is when he, he cannot see the possible reality where he gets eaten by Dark Sakura because he refuses to accept that that could happen. Abigail's the same way. And even then, Re it's a question of whether he could even see that because her entire dominion of power is not only outside into a different dimension... But it's also something that humanity yeah. cannot even perceive. Yeah, I think that's right. The word she is beyond human limits, and also 
Young Sothoth is explicitly oh, okay. So not one of those usually games about to do time it. Space. One of those like so, solar beam things, like from Pokemon, where you got like charge that, you know, that it's thing. It's kind of like a, like trying to fight fire with fire. Only I don't think Gil can win because he is <laughs> he is he's very powerful, but he's still fundamentally a hero of the human order, right? Like he is still standing. Right. As long as he has that third human mind in him, it's over. Because he still is bound by the concepts of humanity and and its reality. So now, like we said, this is limited by Abigail's perception. So there might be situations where, like, off correctly, that she could actually like get him. Like her mentality would not be in the right space. But fundamentally, if we're talking power to power, it it would be some kind of limitation on Abigail's part, which would keep her from just one shotting him. Right. Basically, um, Ab the only yeah, the only problem with this situation is Abigail's typically pretty nice, but she doesn't like to fight. She makes this very clear, well, especially agree. in her base animations and lines. She doesn't actually like to fight. She would probably, if if she was forced to fight this man, she would probably take the pacifist route and end it quickly in a way that's like, well, you know, I didn't hurt him necessarily. <laughs> you know? uh, I'm going to drop a 12-year-old. <laughs> I'm going to drop a bridge on him, a metaphorical bridge that we're not talking about Fujino. Right. <laughs> Technically, we probably should put, um, especially since she's now a server, we should probably put Fujino on our, on our honorable mention list because... The Mystic Eyes is distortion are crazy. That's true. Oh. But yeah, I mean... That's, a, that's another kind of those cases where it's like, but how do those actually match up? But what do you guys think? Do you think be a I'm GG. wrong? Do you have a different opinion? Just on the information as we have it now, no, I think you're right. Like, just the way the power is described and what what Abigail represents, not as Abigail, but as the, the Typhon of, of Yogg's Thought. Yeah, no, what the fuck is Gil gonna do? <laughs> Listen, I, I got my start uh, it, game mastering by running Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, no, this is uh, Cthulhu eats one d six investigators per round. <laughs> That's true. He does. I actually know that. Oh my god. Yeah, no, like this, you would need some kind of specific defense or offense against this. Maybe Gil's got some anti cosmic horror shit in the like we keep saying in the back. But I, Abigail, she's still she's a twelve year old kid. Is he going to realize what danger he's in? Right, and... You, you, you got to, though. It's Gil. You have to end quickly. Constructs, which might be the only thing that... Because by the time he takes you to... If he actually ever does, then you're freaking done. Some divine constructs, but those are all stuff that he had, like, in his lifetime. Like, That's all I'm saying. Divine construct. I think he's got some other stuff in the back there. Right. But it's totally... Basically, yeah, so... To ward off this kind of power, he would basically need, like, I don't even want to, like, overblow this, but we're talking about something that's, like, humanity can't even describe it because it's it's so out of our range. So he would need basically, like, an anti-cosmos noble phantasm or something like that. Something weird. <laughs> and then obviously because it, it, the rules, yeah, you know, what Excalibur represents the sort of promised victory... Excalibur is literally. I'm gonna give you some sleep about that. Do this video. I'm gonna go low. Right. So, probably go edit it once I wake up. Though. Full blown defending the planet Excalibur. It could probably go match this pound for pound. But otherwise, yeah, no. Uh, yeah. Character who fundamentally rebels against the gods' control over man. He's not necessarily a, a savior of mankind. Yeah. As a first hero, he is. Um. Well, I mean, I. For, but Archer Gill is fun, despite the fact that he's a king with infinite wealth, he's basically a murder hobo. <laughs> <laughs> Just because he can. Lucky, do you have any, uh... <laughs> they keep harping back at she on 12 here. What Gil might need to beat her. But Gil probably well, wouldn't, said, probably wouldn't take her seriously because he's doing 12, so... We're assumption that they literally, like, are walking down the street and they turn around a corner and go, Gil goes, what? Exactly, yeah. I mean, yeah, if like, Gil... It, okay, I'll give Gil this. If he knew... What Abigail was, may like I don't even know if I could say maybe, like, cause you're right. Like we've yeah, just it, said, he has it, no defenses <laughs> against yeah, he has this. No defenses, but at the same time, what defenses? He has does, no falling like, attack. Yeah, it's like, mm, I, I can't like if, I can't. If, Gil was like watching, and he saw Abigail eat somebody with her mind, and he was like, the girl. But clearly, there's something very wrong going on here. That might not even be, like, his respect or his arrogance about AI. That might be, like, well, clearly this is something I, Gilgamesh, need to get the fuck rid of. Yeah, really. Yeah. Like, to be fair, yes. 
if he knows and he's seen it, especially if he's seen it, he would probably just shoot her with Gate of Babylon. And even then, if she goes oh, down, okay, she so that's really what it is, Excalibur. She has, she has I never thought of that. Horrors she can just casually summon. Like manifestation like, basically like, like, like if, the right, go with, um, if we world just go with the basis now that we put two zeros like, in the box um, and tell them to fight, Abigail will win. Tally. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say it was? That, that much I can say for certain. But depending on how things lead up to that, it can go a different way. I think that's probably why Abigail is, is best placed lower on this list because there's a, there well, like I said, I agree with your, your version of events voice based on the information we have, which is super limited. Well, right. But there's Abigail enough descriptors. There are enough have descriptions. Have a map profile yet, right. right? Like this is this is all just super high level descriptions from what we see in FGO, mm -hmm. right? I yeah, just no. I uh. I just can't imagine it being too far off from this. I'm sorry. I know there's gonna be people who are like, "Well, you like Abigail a lot, so you're of course you're gonna wank her." And I'm like, "No, seriously, what did you think was gonna happen? You know, if yeah, you're right. If you put him in the box, <laughs> she just wins." <laughs> Like I, I do not think that either myself or Lucky have quite the none of it whatsoever. That voice does, but no, we, we, we fundamentally. Agree. Boy, yeah, no, boy like, D yeah. is chalked, <laughs> as we do say. That thing is chalked. Give us a year and a half, you know. Right, we, right. We I mean, yeah. If we have a little more, uh, but, more time and we have actual materials explaining her powers, and even then, that comes out and, and, and explains it. And who knows? It could get worse. She can that, have that's what I'm saying. It can all considering how little we know, and she's this devastating. It can only get worse because she's a Cthulhu monster. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, can only get like, worse. What, a, what about Summer BB? And what about? How oh, we're gonna I'm like, I do like a second, like second video of this at some point when we get more servants. Like voice, if you don't mind us committing to this on your behalf. But if there are some good suggestions in the comments, I would not be opposed to doing. So it's like a nip and tuck, oh, no, no, up absolutely. and down type of like say, fight, basically. Yeah, towards but the like end of this said, video. Yeah. As we were wrapping up, I was going to say, if people have suggestions and they want to debate it out, if we find some really good ones, like, we, yeah, we could absolutely make a sequel, but we need enough of them. We would need yeah. more than, like, one Honestly, character. Like, we, could, we could probably have some discussions about Summer BB because of what she's plugged into. Right, and she has time, different powers. Yeah. She is very new, also. Like, yeah. Give us some time to get some mats and get some, you know, more info out there. Right, right. But as far as... And she's a summer servant, so eh, you know, like who yeah, knows? Yeah, talked about this with like, with like Raiko and even with Skahawk a little, like, um, or even when we talked about would would Nero match up? We eh, mm. summer servants are weird because they're mostly gags. Some I said, I've never seen this Abigail Williams person ever, though. I've never even heard of her in a face series. Like, what face series is she from, guys? Let me know in the comments down below. If she wanted to be a caster, she'd actually be pretty powerful. Like I will take her because she thinks it's cool. I will take Summer BB up to the point that yes. She definitely feels like the type of character that BB would try to become. <laughs> but again, you still have to quantify the, the fact that, or qualify the fact that she is still technically a summer servant in a completely gag event. So the so problem like, is one one of the existences that she's made up with, which is not a spoiler. One of them I think is, which we will avoid. But the the fact that she's plugged into the Hawaiian goddess Pele is pretty obvious. Right. Uh, that's that's kind of a specific to like. The it event is set on Hawaii, easier. guys. So obviously, they, like, I don't know if that would, I don't know if it would naturally occur to say the Moon Cell BB that, oh, if I eat a volcano in Hawaiian Goddess, I'll be really cool. <laughs> yeah, so she probably got like more in the tank that nobody knew about. <laughs> with an A. Yeah, well, got way more in the tank, <laughs> way more reserve. Well, okay, so just to make this not too much longer about Abigail. Bottom line is, and I can't, I, Abigail's obviously not a summer servant, so we can take her seriously because she is placed in a very serious in-game, in, in game, it main story chapter. Um, so, I'm so excited for Epic of Remnant. Oh, oh so absolutely. Cool. Uh, yeah. But bottom line, I'll say about this, this is my, my closing statement is, if you put them in a box with no knowledge about each other, Abigail just, as Lucky put it, Abigail wins 10 out of 10. Just like yeah. 10 times out of 10, she just wins. If there's I'll say, what, did they already do the sequel? It's really up in I the wonder. Air because then you can start being like, well, then how durable is Abigail against something like Gate of Babylon? Because we can make conjecture, we can make guesses based on her outer form, but even like, then, we don't have mats yet. She's got a low agility. Right. It's, it's yeah. 
Cause like, cause, cause honestly, it's so I wonder, is this I it or are they going to talk about like, another s servant? Like, can her, like, can she just summon tentacles to block for her? Maybe she doesn't even need her agility. Like, who knows? Now that's where it's up in the air because it's just. You need a Matt's profile to answer because yes. those are usually the things that have, like, general armaments. Right. Does a servant have general armaments? Maybe. I don't fucking know. It's her not really C. Her agility is C because she trips when she runs. <laughs> you know what? I'll give you that, Lucky. All right, we'll move on, because we do have one last major contender. And this, I think, is probably the most interesting one. And I'll just label it underneath, because you guys labeled it underneath this. I'll label it underneath anyone with the quote-unquote pioneer also, of the stars. Also, uh, Trans, Which at this point can, it contains Da Vinci, Tesla, Drake, existent. and Napoleon. And then Napoleon also has a variant, too. He's got, like... Innocent Monster plus Pioneer of the Stars, but it's really interesting. It is described as a unique skill given to heroes that became turning points in human history. All difficult voyages and challenges which are considered impossible turn into events that can be realized. Thus, any of them can have the ability to beat Gil, especially if it is impossible. Just fundamentally, that is the ability of Pioneer of the Stars. Yeah. Tesla with Sister that wouldn't really make too much sense. With Umo Universali EX probably have the best bet because the way System Karanos works is like this: this reinventing the mythology of lightning, and then what Umo Universali is actually supposed to do is it's an attack reflector type noble phantasm. It com uh, understands the composition of the enemy noble phantasm and counters it. You know, I don't know if Da Vinci has the mojo to throw back an, an enemy <sighs> Elvish blast, but. The numbers, at least, are in the right ballpark. Pioneer of the Stars means that it could be possible. No matter what, it is always a possible thing that could happen. I think this might be the last one, honestly. <laughs> I'm going to say this, though. Um, going from a 0% to 1% still means it's still very fucking unlikely. That's true. Because, as I, see, um, um, I said, we, we deal with this with Gotcha every day. Um, just because something is is not a zero percent which going from you know impossible to possible that can all it could be is literally going from zero percent to one percent chance so yes you might be able to pull something out of your ass in the most ridiculous fashion but it is still highly unlikely i see why we didn't i i, I didn't like break down serious stats on any of these characters or anything because yeah this is the I most they ever talked on like one servant during this too deal. it's just that by the nature of Pioneer of the Stars, fundamentally... I've never heard of... Ashen, I mean, Ashen, Abigail Williams never heard of this shit. It's shown in anime fucking skill. <laughs> like... Like, honestly, uh, like, if they came, like, super close to beating Gil, like, on their own abilities, Pioneers of the Stars... He said, maybe, maybe, I don't fucking know. ...to push it, but they literally would have to do 99% of the grunt work. And honestly, like I said, that's why I think that, that Tesla and Da Vinci would probably do best. Like, okay, Drake's got a lot of projectiles. She could probably match Gate of Babylon that way, but also uh, her power is, like, limited by how much money she has. Mm-hmm. Still. A cannon blast is, is anti-divine. It's still just, like, a cannon blast. Is that anti-divine enough to actually hit Gil with all his many, many projectiles. Eh. Yeah. Oh! Sure. Okay, Da Vinci is uh, the girl. Yeah, yeah, no, no, Reincarnate no, no. himself as a girl. Yeah. Yeah, the, if ever, if these servers actually look pretty cool. To a stalemate, Pioneers of the Star would be what, what would be hmm. the edge to beat him. That's, that's how I feel about this, personally. Boys, what do you think? Um, I Well, actually, I completely agree with that statement. It so the last one supposed to be these four? And I completely agree that, like, uh, if you guys didn't say it, then your notes definitely did that Tesla and Da Vinci definitely have the best chance, I think, mm -hmm. of trying to make it to this point. Not saying uh, Drake and Napoleon, it would be impossible for them, but, I, yeah, Tesla Tesla in particular, but Da Vinci also. Da Vinci could pull something out of her butt to make it a stalemate, I'm sure. Because da Vinci, you know, has that, that Renaissance man power, the knowledge of everything. Right. <laughs> There'd be there'd be some some fun tricks and flips in there, and also Da Vinci is a caster, and as we've established, Gil has fundamentally very low magic. I mean, resistance. what does he have? A, like, at his disposal again attack. in defense? Like, that's what you gotta talk about. Punch and, and Gil would be like, hmm, conversation. So yeah, it's it's really up in the air, but I definitely like the comparison of it basically being a shonen power. In fact, that's pretty much how I would imagine any one of these fights to go down. 
it'd pretty much just be like a shonen battle. Like, Gilgamesh is like, haha, there's no way you can win. All you can do is match me. And they're like, oh yeah, bitch. <laughs> Scream for five minutes. You've been, you've been trained to defeat me at 100%, then I will just have to go even more beyond 100%. <laughs> <laughs> this is to go from even further hell or not gonna happen to oh God. maybe do way that. down the road with the one Tesla 3, <laughs> Tesla 3. <laughs> lightning lightning <laughs> 3 uh. oh my god he okay so oh my god I can, I, I can totally see fucking Super Saiyan 3 Tesla oh my god and with that note, I think we're gonna we're gonna cease our list of contenders here. These are these are all the people we honestly felt would probably at least give Gil a fair shake. Um, at at the very at the very uh, standard, put him in a stalemate. You know. Yeah. But those who have serious chances. But for funsies, and because we there are a lot of servants in Fate, um, we couldn't go without. Ending this so the more on a money she died, the stronger she is. Do you guys the, think the you could go through your the... opinions on these in about a minute? <laughs> well, I know that feeling. Read my notes that I wrote on each of these honorable mentions, which pretty much basically sums up my opinion. So yeah, I could probably do that. I yeah, could, sure. I do whatever you like. I could keep my comments short. Yeah. All right. So honorable mention number one: a Japanese high school kid. I wonder who that could be referring to. <laughs> Sure, I mean, it defeats Gil in a literal 1v1 in an actual timeline. It happens. This is canon, people! <laughs> Unlimited Blade Works ends. He has helped to reach there, but fundamentally, Unlimited Blade Works is greater than Gate of Babylon because while Gil needs to summon items from his treasury... Basically, all these Unlimited servers are, like, in the same boat, basically. That's why they, like, have them all uh, poor. Gil actually got to the point where he drew Enema Elish. That would probably be over because Shiro cannot counter that because it is a divine construct. But still. He didn't he make it, therefore, Shiro won. <laughs> In fact, it was so bad and so humiliating defeat that Gil even admitted Shiro Emiya, of all people, was strong. That's high praise. Yes. In this moment, you are strong. This is a classic example of of um, Gil's arrogance literally getting him done in the end. He literally goes to draw Aya, he looks and goes, no, I can't, and guess what, then he loses the fucking arm and he gets no Aya. <laughs> Perfect underdog story. But you know who isn't an underdog? Honorable mention number two, Achilles. Okay, so you might think we're selling Achilles a little bit short. And maybe we are, but to Hero, despite the fact that he has an impressive arsenal, Gil basically has him beat in every step. Um weapons, which does include a couple of divine constructs, <laughs> and the fact that he himself is divine bypasses Achilles immortality. Uh, Achilles is very highly rated divine, so he's vulnerable to the NP NQD if it could catch him, which would lock down his speed. Given how much he's about a fair fight, that might happen. And uh, Enema Elish would defeat so Achilles Cosmos, uh, which is explicitly said to be vulnerable to an anti world type attack. And the spear effect he has Light, light on me. match <laughs> is also similar to Reality Marvel, so if Gil can access That's Aya, funny. he could also That's probably funny. tear that down. Really, once again, the question is, does <laughs> this was can Achilles maybe get in there and punch Gil? I don't know, but Achilles' actual tools are, are bested by Gilgamesh. Honestly, I, like seeing Achilles, yeah, he put up he put up a really strong fight. All right, guys, so um, I guess this is the last part. Uh, yeah, so um, who could be Gilgamesh featuring um Omega, a Fate Lord discussion? This is for part seven. Uh, this is going to be the final part, actually. So. If you guys got anything else you guys want me to react to in parts like this, where it's like a long video, but you want me to cut it up in parts, I can do that. Because um, I need to like create some more space on my laptop. So after I like get this video out and like get it rendered out and everything like that, I delete this actual video, the um, this um, lore discussion video, so I can have some more space and then just add some more videos that I can uh, react to later on. So like I say, guys, who could be Gilgamesh? Part seven. This is the final. It's the last part of this video. Uh, let me know what you think about it uh, in comments down below. Uh, let me know, like, let's have a discussion down there about like all the all the servers that we've uh, seen being discussed and everything like that about beating Gil. Who actually has the best chance of beating Gil? Is was it somebody on this list? What is it somebody else from another phase here that might got you know what I'm saying? Um, easier way of beating Gil and like it'll be like 
a, a foregone conclusion. So like I say, just get, let me know, guys. Um, so it's me, boy Incog. Um, like, subscribe on the video. Make sure you hit the bell notification. Make sure you click all so enough as every time I make a future upload. And like I say, guys, stop it, like on the video because it lets me know that you enjoy the video and also will help the channel grow a lot and lets me know that I need to do more videos like this because you guys are actually enjoying this type of content that I'm putting out on the channel. Like I said, this is the final part of this for part seven. Um, it's really nothing else to really talk about now. Um, yeah, so that's be about it, guys. This video is actually hitting the 30 minute mark, which I think is like my longest video, which is freaking crazy. Um, so yeah, guys, we're gonna end off right there. So it's me, boy, and I'm out. And also, I should be uploading this one being the first one to be uploaded as far as the video. So yeah, guys, if not, first one would be the second one, but boy, and I'm out. Peace.